It was absolute chaos, and since that crash, doctors have been trying to save survivors who have grave injuries. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. WBZ and CBS News Boston have been covering this story for you all day, on the air and online. Our live team coverage tonight kicks off with WBZ's Ken McLeod, live at the crash scene in Hingham. Ken? Lisa, many of the derby shops here closed down shortly after this happened as ambulances and first responders absolutely swarm this parking lot. Now, within the last several minutes, a trailer load of boards has shown up, so you can imagine what this storefront will look like in the coming hours. Tonight, cleanup crews worked inside the battered store where the entry point and the stopping point were clearly visible. It was mid afternoon when a mangled Toyota 4Runner was slowly pulled from the place nearly five hours after it went in like a missile. I just heard a loud smash. It sounded just like a lot of glass, like a big, big, like crashing sound. At 10.45 this morning, a flurry of 911 callers reported the SUV plunging into the Apple store at highway speed, some guesstimating 50-plus, smashing a hole in the plate glass storefront and mowing down multiple customers and employees before pinning some to the store's back wall. People laying there didn't look good. Shoppers who left home today simply intending to beat the Black Friday rush at Hingham's Derby Street shops instead found themselves trying to help with patient triage. God bless them. We need more people like that putting themselves last. Um, you don't have to wear a fireman's outfit or a police badge. 17 people went to the hospital, but one man didn't make it out. 65 year old Kevin Bradley of New Jersey, who was apparently overseeing some recent store construction, was killed. I'm devastated for those people that are so injured and, and to that one poor soul that's. <laughs> No longer here. The driver of the SUV, who police have not yet named, did not go to the hospital. Witnesses say he was bloodied, but appeared to be conscious and alert when he was pulled from behind the wheel. And authorities quickly acknowledged that a criminal investigation is already underway. He is right now uh, with police officers. Whether it was intentional or an accident, the memory of today's chaos and carnage is likely to haunt many witnesses and victims through the holidays and beyond. Heart goes out to all the employees of Apple and all the customers that were in that store because nobody should be dealing with this um, holiday week. From what we can see, there are no skid marks indicating the driver ever tried to brake. Our I team says he's a 53 year old Massachusetts man who has a drunk driving accident on his record in Vermont from last year. Live in Hingham tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. All right, Ken, thank you.